Hello YouTube and welcome to another video. Now this one is going to be a little bit different than anything I think I've ever done before. Now if you were like me you wondered how does the mapping work inside the Fiesta ST. So we're going to look at that today and I'm going to show you how simple it is actually to do the fueling on the mapping of the Fiesta. We're not going to go through everything today, it's just about fueling. So if you want to change your AFR, I'm going to show you how easy it is when you use HP tuners. Right, so what we have here on the screen now is HP tuners. So I'm going to take you through some of the uh, screen things on it, give you an understanding of what it's like. Now this map is a standard ST180 map. So this is exactly what Ford uh, provide. And this was available online. I managed to get it from the HP tuners uh, website. So here you can see you've got engine, you've got your engine diagnostics transmission transmission diagnosis now none of them apply to the fiesta and then fiesta then you've got your fuel system this is fan system and this is to do with your speedo now what we're going to look at is in the engine so like we said we're going to look at fueling so as you can see here you have many menus across the top you have your general your idle your airflow your exhaust fuel spark torque and torque management. Now when you click on any of these, they open up a sub-menu. So for instance, if we go to torque model, you have your general, you have your monitoring, loss. If you go to torque management, then you have general, driver, demand, etc. Now what we're looking at is the fuel. So within the fuel, we have quite a few sub-menus, as you can see here. So. Now, if you want to just change the, the AFR, <clears throat> um, mostly you won't need to mess with any of these settings. I'm not going to go into everything. Um, you may have to change your minimum lambda setting. Um, it's in one of the pages here. But you might, if you're going to go richer, you may have to change uh, some of them. So you've got your oxygen sensors, open loop, um, and power enrichment is what we're interested in. And this is going to be in your power enrichment, your driver demand. But I'll just show you some other things first before we go on. So you've got your temperature control. This will be other parts of the fueling, EGT control, a cap list, and things like that, the temperature settings and what have you. And then you've got your fuel cut off. Um, now in here, you can set your RPM limits um, and how close you want the fuel cut off to be to the actual RPM limit and all the other stuff. So, but what we're going to look at is power enrichment, right? So now typically what I'm going to show you is if I pull up a picture here, in a standalone ECU, you'll have a V table, your fuel tuning AFR table. It's going to look something like this. I couldn't really get a big picture, but anyway, down the side here, you're going to have your load, axis, and your RPMs going to run up there. So those are familiar with these type of tables. It'd be quite easy for you to understand. Now, when you set any fuel in, depending on how it's set up, if it's like a TPS load base, you may have to fill in all of these tables and get the air fuel ratio right throughout the RPM range. Um, if it's map based, um, it'll be a little bit different. It might trace up like this and then you may never go into some areas on the map. But the, the idea is you have to make sure most of these zones here, you have spot on, and then you would do what's called interpolation in the other. So we're not gonna go into that, but the idea is you can see this is quite complicated. This takes a lot of work and you need a dyno um, to get it right in most cases. But the Ford ECU is so simple. So if we go back to this, and we look at the driver demand. Now on your usually this is set up. Let me just click through these. So it'll be set up as lambda. Now one lambda is is 14.7 AFR. So when you come in here, this will be set. So for instance, in this column here, we are 0.898 of one lambda. And this here is your lambda symbol. So you've got your RPM range running across the top, and then you've got your torque percentage running down the left column. So when you're full throttle, you're basically going to be running through all of these lower columns. And if it was making changes, you would make changes here as well, because the boxes next to each other can have an effect. So what I thought it would do was, 
Um, to make more sense of this, I'm going to switch it to AFR. Now, there's many different AFRs for different fuels, right? So usually we work to an AFR, I think, in, in petrol of like 14.7. So this has the option to go 14.6 or 14.7. So we're going to take a look at a log. And how the fueling is on the standard face as we go through the log and see how it compares to the fueling in the map. Right, so looking at this standard log, what we have here, the top red line is our RPM. So if I click on that, you can see I'm at 3000 RPM. And if I click here, why is it not clicking? And if I click here, you can see we're at 6000. Now what I wanted to look at, this yellow line here, this is fuel command. So if I just click to this table now, you can see there, command equivalent ratio. So that's basically the fuel that the ECU is asking for. And just below it is what the car is actually seeing, or the, lam or the lambda sensor is seeing. So we got the yellow there. So this is command, ECU says, this is what I want. And then below is what the car actually sees in blue. So what we're gonna look at here, if I now go to, let's get the three, as close to 3,000 as we can. 29. So 2,972 RPM, right? So we can see here in yellow, now the ECU is saying, right, I want an AFR ratio of 12.698. And what the car is actually seeing is 12.684. So let me just click that. So we get back to 3,000. Oh, you are bang on 3,000. So 12,695, we see in 12,7. So it's almost smack on. Now, you don't always expect it to be perfectly. There will be variances. Now, if we go to the map, and we look at 3,000 RPM in the map, it's asking for 12,7,4. So it's really close. Now, I flicked through these, and an AFR of 14,7 and 14,6 is somewhere in between them, but it's very close. So we can see it roughly it's asking for about a a 12.7. So what I thought I'd do is if I make these screens now smaller, if I can snap that, get that, then we'll bring up this one. Now we can look at them in comparison together. So I'll shrink this down. Right, so 3,000, 12,695, 3,000, 12.74. So it's there or thereabouts, right? So as we go through, the RPM range, we'll notice this, the standard fuel in stays 12.7 all the way up until 5007 where it starts to get a bit richer and it's going to go down to 11.5. So let's see how that works out in the, in the, um, on the log. Now you can see the yellow trace is going lower and lower so it's going richer. So if we get up to, uh, let's move this across. Bit of a pain when you change the scale then to get four scan to go across. Right, so as you can see, the AFR is starting to drop at 4006. So we've just stepped down now, we've got the 12 4. Reason for that is we've passed the 4280 RPM, so it's now starting to interpolate into this column. So we're starting to see um, the 11 5 and it's going to start bringing itself down. So as you move along, See it's coming down, we don't 11 8 until eventually we'll get down to 11 5 5 1 and we 11 4 on actual. Now, like I said, that will fluctuate a bit. So, the aim of this video wasn't just to show you how that sh um, shows in a log, but it was more to show you of how you can change the fuel line. So, let's say for instance, now you wanted to richen this up and you wanted. Um, 12 so from 3000 rpm you wanted this to be 12 up to you up to 4208 so you'd go in there and you would put 12 afr and then we would click equals now it does sometimes do some funny things and it gets you very close that's taking us to 11 9 now, what you could also do is alter these tables here to affect, um, to stop any interpolation between these numbers changing your fuel. So you could also go through 
and change these as well or you can do another thing i'll just show you how interpolation works right so we've got all of these 11.9 if i then went up to here and then clicked this which is interpolate vertical it'll now do a figure from the 11.9 up to 47 and it'll blend this so, so you can see they've all changed and they blend but um, i'm going to undo that because we don't want that so what we would do then you so you've got your 11, 9 or your 12 there, you're thinking, well, after that, now I want to go a bit richer, like you go to 11, 3, now I'm not saying you want to go that rich, I'm just saying that you can. So you could then go there and you could go 11.3 and then you click equals 11.254. So it's going to take you close to that. You can mess about whether you want. And if you, if you want to add a percentage, um, so if we undo all of this and we go back to complete factory if you thought right i just want to make it a little bit richer or a little bit leaner by 10 percent what you do is then is you go in here and you go right i want to increase by 10 percent so you go 1.10 and then you multiply goes up 10 percent so Let's undo that change. So you could, um, and if you want to take away, you would go 0.9, I think that's 10%, and then multiply by that, and you'd go richer. Lena was was the other way, obviously. Um, so yeah, that is how simple you can change the air fuel ratio on, on a Fiesta. It's quite amazing, really. Um, so basically, all you need to concentrate on would be these top two, rows mainly this top one here which is your power and ritual when you're going to be full on the pedal so it's quite clever and quite simple i would have set out on you now there are other basic things that i could show you in future videos so we could um perhaps look at things um let me see, what could we look at in future if you wanted to know? Tell you what we could look at, I'm not going to do it now, but if you want to see other videos, we can look at how the standard ECU limits power in the lower gears until it gets up to the higher gears and allows you more power in that. So if that's something you want to see, like I'm not going to pretend that I am a competent mapper. I'm learning you and I'm just showing you what I'm learning. So yeah if you want to see more videos because no one's doing this and you ain't going to get a professional mapper to make videos like this because they don't want to give their secrets but i've got nothing to lose by showing you this so i thought well i'm going to make a video on it and see what you think good but anyway if you want to change your fuel ratio your afr that's how easy it is to do when you use hp tuners so anyway hopefully this video was helpful people thank you very much for watching see what we go do on the next one so cheers and bye